What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Of course, I love looking good and smelling great. So if you're a guy out there and you love smelling great every day, you love looking great, then this is probably going to be a channel that you want to go ahead and subscribe to. So if you don't mind, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. And you don't miss out because I got some great content coming up. Talking about great content, I have a special guest tonight. You guys have seen her on the channel before, and I'm talking about none other than my beautiful wife, Miss Ashley Hill, which goes by, is it the Bowtie Fragrance Girl or Gal? What are we deciding on? We're gonna go with Lady. Okay, the Bowtie Fragrance Lady. I can deal with that, I, I like that. I like the Bowtie Fragrance uh, Lady. We can go with the Bowtie Fragrance Lady. All right, so what we're gonna be talking about tonight, guys, we're gonna be talking about what is becoming definitely one of my favorite niche houses. I really love the fragrances from the house of Niche Chane. Uh, they perform great. There's some very uh, versatile, sexy fragrances. I love the fragrances that I have from this house so far. And what I've done is I've taken my top five from the house. And of course, I'm gonna spray these on a test strip and let the Bowtie Fragrance Lady tell me which is her favorite. Now, I will tell you guys, I don't mind her seeing what the fragrance is this time because she hasn't really smelled any of these. So it's going to be totally unbiased, kind of her first impressions, which one she thinks is the best. So if you guys want to know of my top five, which one she thinks as a beautiful lady thinks is the best, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video and these fragrances. So the first fragrance that I'm going to spray for you guys is this one right here, which is Hachibat. Now, uh, I've talked about this fragrance before on the channel. Um, I'm not going to say much about it because I don't want to sway you in any way, shape or form as it relates to these fragrances. So okay. I'm just going to spray them. And I'm going to let you give your opinion. There you go. This smells great. <laughs> so it is a little strong. Um, you know, it's not a bad strong, but it does jump out. You know, it projects uh, really well. So if you wear this, you're definitely going to uh, get some attention. But this is great. I, so I'll, you know how we do. Let's rate it one okay. to ten. All right. Hold on. All right. Let's see here. On my scale of one to ten, I will give this a a, a nine for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you heard it. Hachibot was the first one that we did a rating on, and she gave it a nine out of ten. The reason I said I didn't want to say much about this prior to spraying it is because I know that she loves Creed Aventus. As a matter of fact, I wore that tonight, <laughs> and she went crazy when I put it on. Oh, and people say that this reminds them of Creed Aventus. It's a lot earthier because of patchouli it's in it. It's so true, though. But, um, wow. so I didn't want to say anything to swear her, especially because I put Aventus on tonight. So, mm, uh, but it is a good one. I told you guys this was a good one. So, Hachibot gets a 9 out of 10. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. That's All right. So, that's Hachibot. So guys, the next fragrance that I'm going to spray tonight is this one right here, which is Ombre Calabria. Ombre Calabria. So we're going to go ahead and spray this one. And I will let you, of course, give me your opinion. There you go. Thank you, sir. This is what? Ombre Calabria. All right. This one right here. Okay. Do you like it? What you think? All right. So this is sweet, and it's um, it is very good. I think I would definitely wear this. Um, I don't know seasons as well as you do, but I, I definitely feel like this is so sweet that it would put me into the fall, winter type time, and I think that I would definitely give this a. It's really good. It's, it's, oh, hold on. So what's your rating? 
he always wants to push me when he, <laughs> he y'all every time he won't let me take my time with this take so your I, time i understand that fragrances can be one of those things you want to indulge in. yeah chill out and, for a second uh, okay <laughs> chill out all right oh this is pretty this is a pretty one this one is pretty the other one smelled very good and it was alluring mm -hmm. this Manly. one's just a pretty this one's pretty so i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it an eight okay. i'll give it an eight it could have been a nine though but i'm gonna give it an eight though because it does i think that's pretty fair scoring this one is so great guys it has a very bright citrusy it's a case with a lot of fragrances from the house of nishane vanilla is a key uh note in a lot of these fragrances i really love this one though personally uh, that's one of my favorites all right, guys, so the next fragrance that we're going to talk about tonight is this one right here. It's called Fan Your Flames. Mm. So, again, these are my personal uh, top five Nishane fragrances right here. And I'm um, not going to say anything else. I'm going to spray it and let her do the rating for this evening. Here you go. All right, so before I smell this, Fan Your Flames sounds like something that's going to smell like gasoline. And I don't know 100% if it does. No. <laughs> it does, I could be wrong, but it sounds like it's gonna really knock me off, out of my socks, right? Let's see. I say, what do you think? Oh, it's definitely not what the name says. But it, oh, that's kinda, hmm, it smells like something else, babe. Um, all right, so it's got like a fiery, you know, incense. Almost by the fireplace type smell. Um, because I'm not in this season yet. Okay, let me put myself in this season. All right, let me put myself in warm. Like, I, I need to be by a fireplace. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to give this pretty good, y'all. I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. I'll give it a seven. That's wow. pretty good, babe. I like so, Fan Your Flames, Ashley, then one of the main notes in here is coconut. And rum, mm. so it, it it again. Like yeah, I love uh, Gourmand. So this one is one of my. I, I like all these, of course. Again, this is my top five. So it's very hard for me personally to rank these. So I'm glad I'm having her rank these because it's kind of difficult for me to do it. But I really love that one. Coconut oh, rum, tobacco. Oh, yeah. Some of my favorite notes and perfumery. All right, so moving right along, guys. The next one. Now this one to me is criminally underrated. A lot of people don't talk about this one. Enough people don't talk about this one. As a matter of fact, I haven't heard anybody really talk about this one. And this one is called Vain and Naive. Mm. Now I love the name, first of all, because I'm very vain myself. Oh, he is. No, I'm just oh. <laughs> No, but simply, so I really liked uh, when I read the note breakdown on this one. And I must say, personally, I was not disappointed when I smelled it. But let's give bow tie fragrance lady a shot and see what she thinks oh, here you go all right so just going off the name alone i don't know if i'm gonna like this because i don't <laughs> like vain people and i wouldn't want to be a naive person so let's just see if the combo together is good All right, so here's the deal with this. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful scent. Ombre Calibria. Did I say that right? Ombre Calibria. Ombre Calibria was a pretty fragrance. This one is beautiful and a little more um, aged. I feel like a more mature person would definitely wear this, but it's so beautiful. Um, so if I, this is a very hard ranking to do, um, let's give it a ranking. So I'm going to, I'll give this one an eight as well. Are you, keep, are you keeping up? I am keeping up. So I gave something else an eight. So far we have a nine for, uh, Hachibot. We have a, a eight for Ombre Calabria. We have a seven for Fanny Flames and another eight for Vane and Naive. Mm-hmm. So I think what we're proving here again, I've chosen five of my top favorites from the, the brand. And so far we don't have anything that's under seven. So 
that's saying a lot about the quality of these fragrances. So moving right along, guys, to the last final one tonight, which is going to be Ani, Nishane Ani. Uh, this is one, again, that I personally really, really enjoy. But it's not about my opinion tonight. We want to find out the ladies' perspective on this fragrance. And here you go. Going off of the bottle itself, it's black. <laughs> so if it's black, that means it's dark and warm. And it probably is, if I had to guess, it probably is gonna remind me of maybe Tom Ford Wood or something dark with a leathery smell. Sure. So let's see, I'm probably gonna be wrong, but no. Oh, I was not wrong. This smells just like leather. Oh, all right. So the thing about me is I got to stop trying to rate stuff like I'm wearing it. So for a guy, this is good, but it definitely is very masculine and very, it, it projects well and it smells very smoky and um, whoo, it's strong. So I'm going to give this, whew, give me a minute. Hold on. I'm giving it a six. Okay. Okay, guys, so there you have it. She gave Nishane Ani a six. Now, I will say um, most frag heads would probably choose either Ani or Hachibot, uh, in most cases, as the, the favorite. Um, because, again, this one is very, Ani is very complex. And I know her taste. <laughs> I wouldn't expect her to probably choose this as the winner. It's not really one of those mass appealing scents, but it's a fragrance that a lot of frag heads really appreciate because it's so complex, it's bold, and it's really, really good, man, but it's more of a resinous scent. That's not really her taste. So, you know, again, um, so the winner tonight, based on the Bowtie Fragrance Lady, is this one, Hachibot. Oh, yeah. Not surprised at all uh, that this Woo! one took the crown um, home. The dry down is amazing. So, again, not surprised that this one won. Uh, but that's it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video tonight uh, for this installment of Scent Versation Saturdays. I want to talk about the house of Nishane because it's a house that's really, really growing. I think not just for me, but in the fragrance community as a whole. I'm seeing a lot more attention being paid to this brand, and I think it is with good reason. All the fragrances from this house, all the fragrances from this house are straight to parfum concentration. So, really good quality fragrances that you're getting for the price but that's it guys that's it that's my time i thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as i talked about my five favorite fragrances from the house of nishane and they were rated by my beautiful guest the bowtie fragrance lady thank you for your time we always appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video because of course we know you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're right here with us and we sincerely appreciate that now don't forget to take the time to like comment and subscribe and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me or her entertaining because I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling amazing. I will catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.